Petoskey. This is where we are, Petoskey, Michigan. Up north. Michigan for our anniversary. We've been married five years. It was only a few weeks ago we planned this, slapped it all together. Um, it's the first time we've left the babies since my C-section. Even when we had Bodhi, we, we never did anything like this, but we kind of thought for five years we should do something special. So we've been driving all day. I'm getting over a sickness. I, as of up until this morning, I wasn't even sure I'd be able to go on this trip because I was so sick all week. Um, stomach stuff, fevers, cold, all of that it was horrible. I'm like worlds better than I was yesterday, even though I'm like a little stuffy. It's kind of late, but we are just kind of on our own routine right now. So I'm going to take a shower. I'm so bedraggled, looking so gross. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Five years. Five years. It's exciting. Two kids. Two kids, five years. In one of those years. In <laughs> one of those years, yeah. King bed. It's a must. All right. I'm ready. I sat down to do a get ready with me and I just still felt so like 
gastrointestinally awful for lack of a better word so i got ready in the bathroom you can see i used the mousse which is a change up from my last vlog i get way better volume because when your hair is super long hot tip it's heavy and then it lays flat if your hair is anything like mine so i could not be bothered to run a curling iron through this hair so it's just blown out it's straight it is what it is like mm. and then i have faux lashes on strip lashes contoured my nose i lost a little bit of weight so i have a little bit more of a sculpting naturally in my cheekbones but i added um some contour powder other than that my makeup's pretty much the same i got this dress a couple years ago it barely fit now it's like loose which is exciting because I've been working out lately um, because you guys might have noticed I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. First of all, my babies are both going through crazy intense growth leaps, which means developmentally, they're just demanding a lot from mama. Um, and then I've been working on myself. I've been working out, I've been reading, I've been doing my hobbies, I've been seeing my friends, um, but really focused on my health. And I'm gonna have to put it all together in a postpartum video for you guys, but I'm feeling good, feeling strong, other than this insane sickness. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I probably would have put way more effort in, if I felt better, but I'll show you the head to toe. This is hubby's look. Wearing the boots I got. Yeah! <laughs> for him for his birthday. Mm. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> Sweden in the summer. It's so beautiful. But yeah, five year anniversary. We're very excited. I'm holding my lip combo. <laughs> but yeah, Petoskey, this is where we are. Petoskey, Michigan, up north. So warm, so beautiful. Feeling a little anxious leaving the kids. It's my first time. But they're with their babysitter that they love, and then they'll be with their grandparents. But it's just not something I do. So yeah, mom's night out. Maybe I'll get a glass of wine. Cloud. Is it going to be good weather tomorrow? Wandering the streets, full belly. It's nice to walk after a big meal and we had dessert. A foodie meal. A foodie meal, yeah. It wasn't where we intended to go, but it ended up being really nice. No steak and potatoes. No steak and potatoes. <laughs> I know, I was kind of hoping for a steak, but. I had glazed pork belly mm -hmm. with kanako yeah. and scallions and some other weird stuff I've yeah. never heard of before. And I got a burger, but it was Wagyu burger. <laughs> oh, there's the sunset. So we're looking for the sunset right now.
This looks like how I imagine like San Francisco. Oh, the trees! <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at that. There's a, still a tree. We can catch it. You think? Yeah, it's close. <laughs> Are we both? I, w I want to see it, even if it's not. We got to live in the moment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's a place in Michigan um, that's really famous, really popular. It's like uh, an island that there's no cars allowed. It's known for its fudge. There's horses. It's kind of old timey. I'm not quite sure the details. Like I've been there once before when we were dating. Yeah, I'm just, I'm happy to be vlogging. Vlogging with children is just so hard. Like I can't. I can't believe people do it. Not caught a breath since April. It's been so busy and then I've been kind of sick like a week or so. Um, but finally feeling better. I woke up this morning and like I said to my husband last night, I was like, sleep is the cure. Sleep is the cure for like everything for me. Like, like mild sicknesses. I feel like you go to sleep, you wake up and you feel so much better. And so I still have like bloating a little bit and I still feel like a little off, but I'm not sick and the funny thing is like a year ago on my anniversary we did a vlog and you guys didn't know this but i was pregnant in that vlog four or five months along at that point four months 
Um, and in your second pregnancy, especially one where you don't have a chance to regain your core strength, you show much sooner. And so I was like super kind of like pregnant in that dress last year. Um, and I was sucking it in so much. Also, that's why I was wearing that huge poofy dress last year too. So it's so crazy. I was pregnant with Troy a year ago. A year ago, I was still bleeding. Um, but I actually, it, I stopped bleeding on my anniversary. And it was the first time in like two months. I hadn't bled, and now a year later, I have a seven month old. So crazy. Yeah, that looks so much better, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is like plugged in super far away. I'm gonna plug it in down here. I'm just gonna talk and ramble, and then poor future me is gonna have to edit this into a cohesive conversation. Yeah, so I forgot my hairspray, I forgot slippers. Walking around this place without slippers or socks is like, oh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. This place is so clean, but it's not my house, and I don't like bare feet in places that are not my house. Blech. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but oh my word, it's skeeving me out. Yeah, like a year ago I was pregnant, and the year before that I was pregnant. So I haven't been like not pregnant for not last summer or the summer before, so like three summers ago. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been doing like a fitness program for specifically targeted for postpartum diastasis recti, and it's where your abs separate, which is like really common in pregnancy. And I have a very mild separation but I just felt like I wanted a stronger pelvic floor and I, I also wanted to heal my abs and I wasn't able to do that between my pregnancies because they were back to back. And so all I've been focused on for the last like two or three months has just been healing my body, getting stronger, just like wanting to get that fitness back, you know? Like I was, when I started YouTube especially, I was like in the best shape of my life. I put on a bit of weight in order to get pregnant and then I was pregnant and I like thought I looked fine while pregnant, but then like being postpartum this time around, I haven't loved how I look in clothes. Like I still feel like I'm hanging on to some extra weight. And, like I know people are like, you look great. Like you don't look like you had two babies which is like so nice, but at the end of the day, it's like how you feel, you know, personally. And I, I'm starting to feel like myself again, but I'd still like to continue to get stronger. So I've been lifting weights. My husband, you guys know, he put in that home gym. I used to struggle like carrying Troy in the car, in his car seat, because the car seat's kind of heavy and he's super heavy. And so carrying him around, like I'd get so went, like exhausted, like my arms would hurt, because I've always been kind of weak in the upper body. Um, but ever since lifting weights, it's not a problem lifting him, carrying him. Even yesterday, I realized after dinner, even though I felt kind of sick still, we walked so far and we walked uphill for a long time and I wasn't winded in the slightest because I've been doing so much walking and cardio and so that's good. Like even though I don't love how I look in clothes still, like in certain areas, at least I feel stronger. It's just a journey. It's just a journey to figure out like your new self, you know? I was saying to my husband, like I can't believe that we were even capable of making a baby so sweet and so easy because like him and I are both kind of like active and busy people and Troy is just like happy all the time he sleeps so long he responds to his name like he knows his name which is so cute like I feel like it took Bodhi longer to respond to his name because we would call him so many different things like the baby, Bubba, Bubba Chunky, Bodhi, Boasters, Bubba Kids. In general, I think we're doing like a lot better than I thought I would be at this point. Like I just kind of, when I found out I was pregnant with number two so soon, I was like mentally buckling down for like a very hard two years. Well, they're both so little, but with my husband like in his job, he's able to be home a lot, which is really nice. So I have a ton of support. But yeah, this is our first time going away. Our last trip, we went to Colorado, February of 2020. 
and that was like right before COVID really took off and right before I got pregnant. And so it's so crazy because I've had two babies in the span of that time. And honestly, I think it was like a good use of my time <laughs> during these couple of years is just to like have two kids because we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't do anything anyways. And so having two kids was kind of great because like I just chilled at home and <laughs> had my family. I feel like I've changed a lot. <laughs> in the last two years, like becoming a mom and like the experiences I've had, if you've seen my birth video. I think I've just, I don't know, in a way I'm becoming more laid back. Yes, okay, so I just add a texture to my hair. This looks so much better. I swear, I feel like everyone wants a haircut to like fix their problems. They're like, hey, my hair looks drab. How short should I cut my hair? What should I do with my haircut? And it's like, girly, you don't need a haircut you need to learn how to style your hair. And I say that as a person who had to learn that lesson because I used to like be like, oh, I need to cut my hair, blah, blah, blah. What kind of haircut? When really I was just lazy and I didn't want to style my hair. So this is probably gonna fall out because I didn't bring hairspray, didn't bring slippers, didn't bring so much because I packed when I was like just coming off of fevers. So I was like kind of sick, feeling disgusting. Not contagious, just like digestive sick, if you know what I mean. So I don't have a lot of my stuff. That's okay. See, okay, so this is another good thing about putting, you saw yesterday I put mousse in my roots. When you put mousse, you can apply heat and it stays better because of that. That was a horrible explanation. There we go. Look how pretty this is. This is so much better. And then if I decide to wear a ponytail later, it'll look really good. We have come a long way, my friends. I would never go makeup free on camera when I first started YouTube. I'd probably rather die. But now, here we are. Haven't even brushed my teeth. Be glad you're looking at me through a phone or a computer and you're not here in real life because I'm sure my breath is like coffee nasty. All right. There's like this toxic side of me that wants to get hair extensions for my already super long hair so that it's like even thicker. But they're like $300. I feel like I might go for it because why not, right? You only live once. Why not have super thick Disney princess hair? Okay, so if I wear a ponytail later. Oh, wow. There we go. Apologies for this terrible lighting, but I forgot my camera stand as well as the slippers and the hairspray. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go put makeup on. So I wanted to quickly show you some products that I've been obsessed with and I've emptied and repurchased since I last saw you. Um, this is the mousse I've been using. It's so affordable. It truly works, like it says, maximum hold. Fabulous for hair similar to mine. This is the magnesium supplement my husband got me for Christmas that I asked for. It is so good. I put it on my lower back at night. If you take magnesium by like a pill form of supplement, um, it can cause digestive issues. And so I prefer a lotion. It's so great. This is this uh, face wash I use and have used for four, maybe six plus years. Takes off all makeup, so effective. I double cleanse with this, only cleanser I will ever use. Um, I've been using this deodorant for a while now. This is what I use for acne, which now that I'm having a cycle again, I will get hormonal acne. It is extremely drying, so be careful, but it does work to kill pimples. My um, dear, beloved, sweet, beautiful eldest child <laughs> got into my foundation um, yesterday spread it onto here, so that's what that is. But I saw this serum from another YouTuber. I'm obsessed, 
It is so expensive, but it's really like luxurious. And then this is a skincare. I've already repurchased this from that same YouTuber. She recommended it. So moisturizing. I have dry skin and I really love it. It's also expensive, but I don't get manicures. I don't get pedicures. I don't really even get my hair cut, but I buy nice skincare. grow out of your head is all fun and games until you get blonde eyelashes <laughs> after we did the curling iron I like thinned out my brows just because I kind of like it <clears throat> I know all right Here's the finished makeup look. Am I wearing fake lashes for a day out in nature? Yes. There's like neighbors. Because why the heck not? No people, okay. insecure about vlogging where people can hear me. This backpack reminds me of college. Slightly triggering. <laughs> vlogging on a bike. Mackinac Island and you can only um, bike 
no cars are allowed. And that's why they have like horse-drawn carriages, biking and walking, jogging, strollers, but no motorized vehicles. I don't, Hun, are they even allowed little like mopeds? No. No mopeds. So it's pretty strict. I sound like a travel, <laughs> I sound like a travel guide. This is cool. You gotta see this. Going through here. Ah. On the beach. Wow. Stunning. How does it feel to be married for five years? It is Saturday, so there's a ton of people here. And I guess I'm a slightly competitive person because I like passing people on my bike <laughs> and racing, even though we're literally here to just relax no because you would win i don't want to race i don't want to race you i want to race the lay people <laughs> so beautiful here no news is good news from the in-laws watching the children and yeah gotta love mac now like the vibes of Disney World where there's like so many people and there shouldn't be this many people in one spot, you know what I mean? Footage. I very sleepy. Mm. And I'm super happy because I don't feel sick anymore. <laughs> Could leave you under a tree sleeping. seven steps. How many floors is that? I don't know. Ugh. Okay, these steps are kind of shallow. Like it's making me trip. <laughs> cool. Ooh, gotta catch up. The travel vlog. 207. We did it.
leading us through. <laughs> it's like when you follow a car closely for a while and then they leave. Ooh, we should show the fudge up close. I think it's like for the best when it rains on the day you're leaving. Yesterday flew by. I mean, we we didn't end up doing too much on the island. Like there's so much more you can do, but we kind of took it easy. Like we only focused on a few nature things, on people watching, on relaxing, um, because I feel like becoming parents, like this weekend away, we weren't like, yeah, we want to do activity after activity. We were like, we want to eat and we want to rest and we want to enjoy the feeling of not having to be anywhere or go anywhere or do anything. <laughs> but I will say I miss the kids. I miss the boys. I'm excited to see them. We're going home today. I did wash my hair. Um, when I used the mousse, I noticed like my, ha my hair wasn't greasy, um, but since growing my hair out, this is a tip I thought I would share. I used to just like think, oh, should I wash my hair? Is my hair greasy or dirty? Yes, I'll wash my hair. Now I look for two things. Is my hair greasy or dirty? But are the shafts and ends, so the parts like from here down, are they dry? Because that means I need a condition. And after being on the ferry, after biking around the island, my hair whipping behind, um, my hair needed a condition. And I think that has also really helped my hair grow out because like I've said in my hair video, it's not just about speeding up actual growth from your scalp it's about preventing breakage from the bottom up and so if you focus not just on getting that dirty nasty flaky stuff off your scalp which does stimulate hair growth if you also focus on conditioning the ends that'll prevent breakage i don't like using terry cloth towels but i also forgot my hair towels and so when i do that on vacation i like to use this is just a tank top um, instead of terry cloth towels because it's a lot more gentle. So that's what's in my hair. I'm going to dry it soon. I feel like when I'm on vacation, I'm just like so excited or happy or something. I don't know. I just wake up and I'm always the first person awake. And I'm always putzing around the house. But he's sleeping in, which is what he really wanted out of this vacation. Like he just really wanted to sleep in and to rest and to feel like he wasn't doing anything so like i said there's a lot more to do at mackinac island um that we didn't get to we kind of chose not to like because also i didn't want this vlog to like guide our trip i didn't want to be like well we have to go there to do it for the vlog um because this was our anniversary trip and like we never vacation anymore <laughs> and so i wanted it to be like totally on our terms so sorry if it was like a little boring <laughs> It was so nice. It was great. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna go out to breakfast this morning. And like I said, it's kind of ooh, it's kind of rainy here, which it's 
kind of the mood it's so nice this this whole setting reminds me of the house in twilight like all this like wood and then just how we step out and there's like the forest over there it's so beautiful here this whole trip we've just been like why don't we live here why don't we move here it's so freaking nice <laughs> i can't believe we've been i can't believe we've been married five years but at the same time it feels like we've been married for 15 years <laughs> this is actually more of a big bigger trip than we took for our actual honeymoon for our actual honeymoon we went up to the family cottage and we stayed there for a week because it was free like my husband he paid for our house he paid for our wedding he paid for like my car my rings like everything and so when it came to the honeymoon we were like we just want something so cheap <laughs> and it was amazing like it was a perfect sailing week we sailed on their six their uh hobie cat um every day which i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's like a double pontoon sailboat where you know if you've seen pictures of people going sailing where they're like attached to a harness and they're leaning out to the side and they're kind of in the water and it's like adrenaline pumping craziness um that's what we did for our whole honeymoon it was so much fun um but we that place is only like a, a less than an hour drive from our like current house and so it kind of felt exciting getting away just us two up north i think we're gonna try to do this honestly every single year if we can swing it like it's been so much fun so finally <laughs> dried my hair Boots. just gonna chat a little bit before I let you guys go but thank you for watching it was so wonderful to celebrate 
um, our five year anniversary. We got married five years ago. Still so in love. If it, like, if anything, I think that our relationship is even better now, like five years in. I read a book last fall that I had kind of followed online um, for a while, implementing a lot of the strategies. I had never like fully read the book. So I finally read the book called The Empowered Wife and I started implementing the the skills like Laura Doyle's intimacy skills last fall when I was about to be like basically when I was about to give birth to Troy I was like you know what life is about to get really stressful I want to beef up my marriage skills so we can enter into this crazy phase because as soon as I found out I was pregnant with Troy I was like oh my goodness like we're about to enter into a very like physically laborious and intensive time in our life like taking care of young children it's emotionally taxing but it's really physical like you you don't have as much time together just you two as a couple you're tired in the morning you're going you're waking up in the night you know all this stuff that kind of can sometimes cause pressure and tension on a marriage and so i decided to work on some intimacy skills and that was through the Empowered Wife podcast and then the Empowered Wife book. And I started doing those skills last fall and I feel like our marriage has just never been better and I've never been happier. <laughs> and it's crazy because life has also never been crazier for us. It's just incredible. Like a lot of it is advice that's kind of straightforward or, or even advice that I had already kind of implemented in the past. But the skills, I just, I cannot say enough good things about it. So if you haven't listened to the podcast, the Empowered Wife podcast, do that. If you haven't read the book, read the book. I have a couple blog posts about it. I need to write more. Um, and I, I'll probably eventually make a video with some of my marriage advice after five years of being married. I'm just really happy. Like I'm really happy in our marriage and that's exciting. And I will say though, the book has helped me achieve an even higher level of happiness in marriage that I didn't think I could. It's very personally fulfilling. It's very easy. Like I think that's the biggest change ever since reading the Empowered Wife book. Like before I think I used to have to think through the goal of, you know, a har harmony in the home and having peace in marriage and how to fulfill my duties as a wife. Whereas after reading the book, I feel like those things just come naturally and it's very easy and everything just flows and life is just peaceful. And that's why I cannot stop recommending it to all my friends. It's also just a good feeling to know that like me from five years ago, like little 21 year old me made the right choice. I'm excited to see what the next five years hold. So thank you so much for coming along in our little anniversary celebration. It probably wasn't like the most exciting vacation ever because we didn't do that much other than like be outside, um, but it was perfect for me. So if you're interested in more of this kind of content, I have an entire vlog playlist. Don't forget to like the video. It does help other people find our community. If you haven't yet subscribed, join the feminine family. Follow me over on Instagram. I tend to post there a lot more. Or I go on hiatuses here on YouTube because as you know, I am a mother to two children under two years old. So it's a lot. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you made it to the end of this video and I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed and love-filled week. Beautiful sisters. <laughs>